Hello everyone. I will show you how to uh, how to do the statistical analysis in Excel. Uh, you will learn everything in 30 minutes. I hope. So I have the two data sets. One is temperature and the rainfall temperature is in degree centigrade, degree Celsius, right? And rainfall is in millimeters. So here I need to go to the data and you see the data analysis tool. So first I will know <coughs> the descriptive statistics like I want to know the, my data. Okay, statistics so input the range. So I want to input my data in range. So column, I have the label in the first row because I have the label <coughs> temperature rainfall in the first row and group by column or you can group by row. It's up to you row. So you want to uh, where do you want to get the output? I want to get output here. So I want to put my output here. Then summary of statistics. I, I want to know. Okay. So uh, I want to get the summary statistics, right? Then, okay. Oh, oh sorry. What? Okay. Let's see what happened. This is the range. Okay, I want to give the column. Okay, summary statistics. Okay, by column, right? So here, uh, this is the temperature. Okay, this is the temperature. This is the rainfall. Here now you can see your data very well. So temperature, what is the mean value, median, mode, you know this thing, right? Then standard deviation, then the sample variance, kurtosis, skewness, the range, then minimum, uh, or maximum, sum, and count number of data is point is 16. Even you can know your data in like rainfall. So mean, median, mode, standard deviation, etc., etc. So now you know your data very well okay here <clears throat> let's analyze the more statistics here uh, first i want to uh, analyze the correlation i want to see the relation between temperature and rainfall okay so you know the correlation coefficient r is piercing correlation so it's zero to one so one is a hundred percent correlated right positive you know so uh <clears throat> this is the value so negative one to positive one so we can see the relation so here the input range i want to the input range the data divided by column then first levels the first row then output range i want to give output range here put here okay then now you can see the the correlation coefficient is 0 0.71 that's the positive correlation uh, between uh, temperature and rainfall now you may have the question how to add this data analysis tool back right it's very easy so here you need to go to the file then options then you need to add scene add scene then excel add in so go then here you see the analysis tool pack you need to check this analysis tool pack okay then okay then you can get this now i will uh, analyze the f test you know the what is f test f test uh, for we uh, we compare the variance for t test we compare the means so i will analyze the f test so input first range this one second this one I want to see the variance then the, we have the label, then we have the confidence level 0 0.05 means 95% confidence level. Then uh, where I want to keep the output, I want to keep output here. Then okay. Now you can see the summary of statistics. So rainfall, the mean, the variance, then we're showing the F, 
then the p value so p value is significant that means there is a variance between temperature and rainfall this we found the <coughs> significant variance then want to calculate the uh, f test want to do the f t test pairs uh, pair two sample for means so i want to add the temperature then i want to add the rainfall then I have the levels, the 0 0.05, one feet is interval, then where I want to keep the output range, I need to show the area, so I want to keep here, okay, mm -hmm. now, now you can see <coughs> the T test, T test also significant, okay, uh, less than 0 0.05 is significant, and Pearson correlation is 0 0.71, now, I want to analyze the regression. You know, the regression is like uh, the prediction, right? We have the y is equal to x plus c. Y is equal is uh, the dependent variable. X is uh, independent variable. A is slope, c is constant. So uh, y changes as a function of x, OK? The regression. I need to put the y. Y means our dependent variable is here, rainfall. You know your dependent variable then the x is independent variable temperature okay rainfall change with uh, by temperature right? then i have the label temperature rainfall then confidence interval is 95 percent by default but you can use 99 if you wish then where you do want to keep your output you can show the output where you want to keep here i want to keep okay then i want to get the line peak floors okay now here see the results here we get the r square you know the r square is the total variance right that's 0 0.5 means 50 percent rainfall change by temperature right then uh, here the slope uh, 11.94 that means if one degree centigrade increase the temperature will increase uh, by 11.9 millimeters right what is the p value p value is significant right 0.001 that's mean is both 95 percent confidence level and 99 percent confidence are significant right so by this way you can uh, like this is a line plot with the rainfall and predicted rainfall okay by temperature so by using this tool pack you can analyze your uh, data you can yeah, analyze ANOVA, then correlation, covariance, descriptive statistics, exponential smoothing, F test, T test, Fourier analysis, rank, percentile, etc. etc. So, this is a very good tool uh, for basic data and uh, basic statistical analysis. Like we often use, uh, use correlation, regression, then F test, T test, ANOVA, right? So, this is very convenient. So, you don't need to use SPSS or MATLAB or Python or R, you can uh, you can do statistical analysis easily in Excel. Okay, thanks for watching. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and others. Okay, thank you very much. See you. Bye.